Hi, I'm Jason with Three Rooms Archery. If you've shot archery for any amount of time, you've probably asked the question, what's the best target for me? Bag targets are great, and they're a great value, but they wear out quickly. Block targets are a bit more expensive, and if you've been shooting for any amount of time, you've probably asked the question if they're worth it or not. And specialty targets are a lot of fun, but taking the step to actually invest in it can be a little bit scary for anybody, especially online. So today, I'm going to review three different targets for you. We'll be shooting the Delta McKenzie Shot Blocker Travel Pro, the Delta McKenzie Black Magnum, and the String Shot Wolverine Hanging Target. We'll be shooting these block targets because they can take field points and broadheads. The Delta McKenzie Shot Blocker and the Black Magnum use what they call welded core technology. That means that there's nothing inside of the targets uh, no, no cables, strings, or anything like that. So nothing's going to mar or hurt your arrows as they pass through, which is a unique feature with these targets. Another great feature with these targets is their multi-layering technology can help stop pass-throughs, or at least it's built to help stop pass-throughs. It'll also help stop chunking and slivering uh, after shooting it for a prolonged amount of time. And we'll be trying the String Shot Wolverine because it's a specialty hanging target that's not only affordable, but it's also a lot of fun to shoot. Behind all of our targets, we're going to be shooting with the string shot uh, wall background, and that's just going to stop any arrows from passing through. Uh, it's, a, it's a great target stop, and we use it all the time here on the range. But there's only one real way we can test out all these different targets, and that's to shoot them. I'm shooting a 49 at 28 longbow. I'm shooting 400 spine Easton Axis traditionals with 125 grain field points, in case you're wondering. Overall, the target did great. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It stopped every arrow exactly like it said it was going to stop every arrow. Let's just take a look. See, I've got a measuring tape here. It looks like each, we're getting about two to two and a half inches of pass through, except for this, this little guy, which isn't bad. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on some broadheads and see what kind of penetration we get with some broadheads. For the broadhead test, I'll be shooting three rivers archery traditional only arrows, spined at 300 with 250 grain woodsman broadheads. Once again, the target did exactly what it said it was going to do. You have exactly the kind of damage I'd expect. Uh, when looking at a three blade broadhead. But it didn't completely eat up the target. You see right here, we've got about seven inches, six and a half inches, six inches, five inches, five and a half inches. About six and a half inches of pass through on this, which isn't bad. It stopped, it's a very heavy arrow with a very, very heavy broadhead field tip. And you can see it did pull some of the target material out, but you see most of it's still here. I could easily shoot this quite a few quite a few more times before I need to replace anything with this target. So if you're looking for a broadhead target, or you're looking for a block target, uh, despite it being a little bit more expensive than some, some other targets, it's still very affordable. It's much more affordable than, let's say, a 3D target, uh, this block target. It's going to take quite a, quite a bit of abuse. It's going to last a long time. Now let's go ahead and set up the string shot Wolverine hanging target. After you hit your string shot Wolverine target, you might try and pull it out by hand. Now, even 
though this material doesn't mar your arrow at all, and you can pull it out by hand, as you just saw, an arrow grabber makes the process a whole heck of a lot easier. So you might consider grabbing one of these if you're going to grab one of these. It's important to note that neither the Wolverine nor the wall are suitable for broadheads. So if you're going to get either, remember to use field points. And remember, these are not for compound bows and they are not for crossbows. These are for longbow, recurves, and self-bows only. Clearly, I'm not shooting all that well right now. But if, even if I were, not everyone has a controlled indoor range like we have here at Three Rivers Archery where they can set up all of their favorite gear and equipment. So it's for that reason I think we should take this whole setup, put it outside in my own backyard, and see how well we shoot in the real world. Alright, I'm here at my home where I've set up a little target archery range just to show that you can do it at your home too. I've taken some scrap wood. I set up some beams and I attached the wall target backstop to those beams. I attached a couple of Wolverine targets to a string running across the top and I put those block targets down in front of it. It's just to show that you can do that at your home. Now it's important to remember that the top of the wall backstop should have some folds in it just like a curtain has folds in it. That way it'll stop the, the arrow. It's got more uh, room to stop the kinetic energy of the arrow. It's also important to remember that if you're doing this in a residential area, you're not doing it in front of anybody's home. Maybe your home if you're okay with accidentally hitting it, um, or your neighbor's home if you're really great friends, but probably don't do it in front of anybody's home. Or make sure that there's no kids behind it. With that said, let's get shooting. All right, I'm sitting here right about 15 yards. I'm shooting a 50 pound at 28 inch longbow. And I am shooting traditional only, 300 spine, carbon arrows, with 250 grain field points. Let's check that one out. Now, you can see here, Got just a little bit of penetration popping through on the other side. But the target seems to stop the arrow just fine. You can see I've shot this quite a bit. Um, you need to be careful with these. They are pretty hard targets. Now these little targets here are great, especially if you enjoy uh, shooting at tennis balls or smaller things, aim small, miss small. These last a heck of a lot longer than tennis balls do. You can take it off the string, just toss it on the side of the hill if you want. They last forever. Uh, they really take a beating. They're really pretty impressive little guys. Alright, let's shoot those block targets a little bit. I've been really impressed with these block targets. They seem to last a really long time. I shoot every night and they really seem to take a beating. I've been really impressed with their durability. I don't just shoot this longbow, I also have a 57 at 28 uh, recurve. And I have a 30 inch straw, so that makes it about 63 pounds. And it stops in my recurve just fine. Uh, so really, even up to your heavier draw weights, you should be able to shoot these high quality block targets just fine. If you're looking for an alternative to some bag targets, these are the way to go. I've had the opportunity to shoot the Black Magnum and the Travel Pro. They're essentially the same target, but the Travel Pro is a bit smaller. Now I've been traveling with both targets to and from my work every day for the last few weeks. And I'll tell you one thing, the Travel Pro is a lot less obtrusive 
uh, in my trunk than the Black Magnum. That said, they're both pretty awesome targets. That's my review on the wall target backstop, the Wolverine hanging targets, and the Black Magnum and Travel Pro block targets here at Three Rivers Archery. With Three Rivers Archer, I'm Jason Mills. Thanks for watching.